So this is going to be a quick video and we're going to be talking about Aurora. So Aurora is having the earnings report on September 21st, 2021. Am I going to listen to it? Yeah, I'll listen to it just so I can keep up with the MJ industry. We'll see what they have to say. They keep saying, oh, we will push into profitability. But when will you push into profitability? I'm assuming that, you know, the earnings is going to be bad. Why? Because of competition. There's lots of competition right now. Stealing market share from each other. So, now that's my opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe they, they're going to announce some very good earnings. Hey, look. I'm getting very good butcher advertisement. I don't buy from them anymore. I used to when I invest into them, but uh, don't anymore. Anyways, um, you know, um, maybe I'll make a video on on very good food company since I got advertisement on them. Anyways, uh, yeah, very, uh, ACB earnings report. Can't listen to it. What I think about it, I don't think the I don't think the stock is traded on fundamentals. I think the stock is being manipulated by ma big money. As long as you know U.S. will be legalized, as long as you know Aurora has money on the balance sheet, you know the lower it goes, the more likely I will make it uh, a position in Aurora just for funds. Uh, do some swing trading on it, but uh, that's my opinion. Uh, again, not financial advice to anyone. Um, so we'll see what happens with Aurora's earnings report, but uh, I think it's going to be not that good. That's just my opinion. I'm used to them disappointing. Uh, so, anyways, this stock right now is trading at 663 uh, US. And from a charting perspective, it looks like it's starting a downtrend. Uh, the earnings could push this thing all the way down to, you know, $3, $4, or even lower than that. We'll see, though. Currently, the market cap is $1.31 billion. Um, the last uh, earnings report, they had... Um, you know, $55 million of revenue, uh, which was one of the lowest, but then the cost of revenue was insane at $140 million, gross profit of negative 85. I think they had some kind of issue with like too much MJ, uh, and uh, that's why the cost of revenue was so high. Hopefully that's go uh, going down. Hopefully they push into profitability. But I don't think it will happen, and I don't think uh, the company is traded on fundamentals. But hey, right now they do have a lot of cash on the balance sheet. They currently have four hundred and seventy-six million dollars. It's just uh, four four hundred and seventy-seven million dollars. It's just really hard for me to believe that retail investors gave Aurora four hundred and seventy-seven million dollars to continue to burn. I'm just kidding. Uh, but at the same time, kind of not to. Um, so, and they have a total debt of 480. So their cash is basically balanced up with their debt. Uh, so we'll see what the market does when it comes out. Like what the how the market will push a royal stock when earnings come out. But uh, like, you know, it's traded decent amount of volume. So. I mean, four million, five million, three million. I just don't think that's just retail. I don't think that's retail investors day in day out trading. I mean, I guess it's market makers moving the market, so making liquidity. But uh, yeah, as individual investors, I don't think a lot of people are like buying and selling a royal stock. I, I really don't think so. I could be wrong though. We'll see. You know, so we'll see what earnings does. Could crash the stock, create an opportunity to buy in and, you know, gamble up for a pump in the future. 
But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe earnings will be amazing and the stock will get pushed up. We'll see. Earnings usually move stocks. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub and like or dislike if you want. And have a great day. Bye.